Hey everyone, Josh here from Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be going over the new export design feature. Um, this is basically going to be for users after today that doesn't have premium features. Um, so on your main dashboard here, you have all of your icons from your past prints, and that used to go indefinitely, and it still will if you have premium membership um, from today forward or if you're a past owner that's owned it before November 3rd of 2020 here. This is going to be basically for people who doesn't have the premium feature um, after today's date and you purchased your Glowforge after that date and you want to get files back from the Glowforge in its current state. So let's go ahead and we'll use this uh, 3D cassette that has the writing on it versus the one that doesn't that I've already tested here. So we'll open up this 3D cassette tape here and let's say you made some changes on this file so let's go ahead and just move this to the center and we'll move this around over here and we'll move this one like way over here and let's just say you want to save this file like this because you like it the layout like this versus how it was originally and um, you may have this already saved on your um, desktop how you had it before but you, you like it in this style so we're going to go ahead and export this design. You're going to click these three dots here, and then you're going to click Export Design right here. And as you can see, it already exported the design right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, it exported it exactly how I had it here. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll notice there'll be like a timestamp and all of your settings that you currently had set for it. Um, I currently had no settings set for it. So that's why it saved like that. But that's a cool feature they added where it saves your actual settings that you had as well. So that's neat. Um, now let me go ahead and show you how you make use of that one that you just exported here. So let's go back to your home screen. And you're going to go ahead and click Create and Upload from File. So I saved it into my Downloads folder here. As you can see, it's got the parentheses 1 because I did it with the one that didn't have writing earlier. We're going to open the one that I just did, choose open, and now it's going to process your image. This may take a little bit for it to process. And as you can see, it's now done processing here, um, and it imported it exactly how I had it before. So that's pretty much the entire um, export design feature. Remember, you got to go up to the three dots, click export design and then it'll instantly export exactly how you had it. So I just created a duplicate pretty much since I didn't move anything. But that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helped you out. I know this was a quicker video, but I'm gonna do all the different features that I can in smaller sections so people can get help easier by me just linking them these videos here. So that's pretty much it, guys. We'll catch you guys next time.